Hey there everyone! Today I'm going to show you an easy way to make your own Cricut Joy card inserts. You can use any card stock for this, you'll just need to know the proper measurements. So to cut the actual card itself, it'll need to be 5.5 inches wide by 8.5 inches high. If you're using 8.5 by 11 paper, then you can just cut it in half lengthwise and then fold it one time and you will have successfully done that. Using a straight cutter is really helpful because straight cutters typically have measurements on them and I was using a 12 by 12 there so I had to do a little extra trimming but if you're using that 8.5 by 11 then it will work even easier for you. You can go ahead and crease it right down the center. You will have successfully created the outside of your card. Now I'm just going to place it onto that card mat that goes with our Cricut Joy Machine and press that down. I've already picked and loaded a design in Cricut Design Space, and since it's loaded up in Design Space, I can just gently press my mat up and the machine will load and scan my mat. Cricut Design Space has lots of card templates that you can use for all different occasions. I had writing on mine, so I needed to take out my blade and then insert the Cricut Joy compatible pen. They have the pens in many different colors. I'm choosing to use black here. You'll want to wiggle it before you proceed just to make sure you inserted it properly all of the way. And for this particular design, it's going to be drawing some flowers onto my card. The drawing may take up to one to two minutes. Once the drawing is complete, I'm going to go ahead and put my blade back in and hit the go button again on my screen in Cricut Design Space so that it will finish cutting out the slots for the inside of the card insert that we'll create in a moment, as well as a few additional details that go with this particular card design. I will hit the unload mat button on my screen and then the mat will unload for me. You'll want to flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the material, that way it can help eliminate curling of your paper. And then just slide the card out there. There is our initial card insert and I use this really pretty blue paper for it. I'm now cutting the inside part here and this part is going to measure 4 inches by 5 and a quarter and you'll want to cut this two times. Once I've trimmed that down, I'm going to place that inside the card using those little slots that were cut by my Cricut Joy machine. I'm going to repeat the process and cut another card insert exactly the same way so that I can have something written on the inside that my Cricut Joy will write for me. So again, I'm cutting exactly the same size of the card insert, and this time I'm going to load this one onto one of the small green Cricut Joy mats. You could also use a blue Cricut Joy mat as well. Go ahead and type out your message in Design Space, and then you can have your Cricut Joy write it right on to the card insert for you with the pen. When that's done, hit Unload in Cricut Design Space. Flip the mat over and peel the mat away from your cardstock material to help eliminate the curling. Open your card up and then you can use a clear scrapbooking runner tape to place along the inside and then just stick your card insert with the message on it right inside your finished card. And that is how easy it is to make your own card insert steves with the Cricut Joy Machine. It opens up a huge world of possibilities when it comes to different colors of paper, textures, and materials. So make sure you refer back to this video anytime you want to know how to make your own Cricut card inserts.